Welcome once again to Breakfast Central. And of course, we're getting straight into the newspapers this morning to quickly share with you uh, some of the biggest stories across uh, Africa. Uh, we are, of course, uh, starting this morning with uh, first news. Oh, not actually first news now. We're uh, moving to... New vision. New vision. Of course, uh, we can see the MPs want coffee deal terminated. That's what it says there. Um, also, over 120 tenders in Rukungiri. Uh, total and BOU and uh, more on the new vision this morning please bust 13 criminal gangs you can find that on page four and five Naguru Nakawa tenants to get compensation the full story on that is on page seven on uh, new vision we can also find in Kampala 900 trained for parish development model Still on New Vision this morning, a manifesto review, 16 pages of NRM milestones and work stress fueling heart disease cases. A lot of people don't take that much time to see, you know, how, uh, you know, I think we spoke about we checking spoke about your hypertension blood pressure. yesterday. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, hypertension yesterday. And so work stress is fueling uh, heart disease cases. So everyone needs to pay more attention. But there any roots for science, technology, that's also on the New Vision uh, newspapers this morning. All right, so we're moving to our next paper coming back here to Nigeria uh, on the front page of this day newspaper. Now, as we're looking at this day newspaper, everyone, of course, um, the okay, I, I beg your pardon, we'll be taking the nation newspaper. And on the nation newspaper, we have here the big story why APC changed dates for governorship, other primaries, election of presidential candidates is now May 3rd, 29th, and 30th. And party fears INEC sanctions. We recall that INEC had specifically said they were not to shift the dates and that the election dates were to hold. But PDP has, a, or APC rather, has gone ahead to change dates for governorship and other primaries. Of course, let's see how INEC will take this. Still at the top of the paper on page four, Malami Ngige Silva talent soon to no fate. That's on page four. Moving from there to page three, where more endorsements for Tinumbu in Quara. Bainway, we of course it's the political season. We'll see how more of these stories play out on page 27. Again, Lagos restricts Okada operations in six councils. Uh, for, for those who, who, who are outside Lagos, Okada is the um, Nigerian word for motorcycles. And of course, keyword here is again because this would not be the first time that uh, motorcycles are being restrict restricted in Lagos. On page 27. Ongoing legal battle likely to delay Alafin selection. And a uh, big story here. We can still see the picture here of a um, kidnapped suspect of Greenfield University students and other rape suspects during their parade by the police in Abuja yesterday. And we have AKT 2022 updates. PDP warns against Regan. Reject PDP, SDP, fire me, tells women. <laughs> women. Fire me said you should reject PDP and SDP. Iniedo campaigns against violence. Uh, that's a very important one there. Iniedo campaigns against violence. And finally, on the Nation newspaper, lockdown in Southeast states over Nnamdi Kanu. George denies IPOB leader bill. Very short, we'll be going into the top stories. And this will be our first top story for today. Absolutely. Looking forward to also discussing uh, the uh, Okada ban in Lagos and seeing if the government can actually enforce it because it's, it's been banned multiple times. And this sounds like rebanning a ban or reinforcing a ban that was placed, you know, a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago. But we'll find out. Let's move to South Africa now. Joe is hanging in somewhere. That's right, South Africa, we go. And at front page there, we have that one from the Sowetan. It says, uh, a big one, a big header there, former Joburg mayor dies. Uh, Morani becomes third man to have one mayoral chain to pass away in less than a year. Uh, he succeeded uh, Geoff Makubo and uh, Julidi Matungo, who both died in office. So uh, a lot of people have started to talk tough about this uh, death uh, situation here where it seems to be reoccurring uh, quite much. Uh, could it be the office? Could it be that there's a lot uh, that's ongoing that people haven't uncovered yet? Well, you can get all the details and every single thing. Uh, could it be ill health? Could it be the fact that uh, there were indications that he wasn't feeling too strong? Well, go ahead and make sure you pick up the Sowetan. Read it online or if you are in South Africa, I'm sure you know where to pick it up from your favorite vendors and make sure you check it out as well. Let's take a look at the top there. We've got this one. Granny to thank for rising star Zimu. 
Well, Granny to thank for rising star Zimu. That's the header. Page 22 has that story. On page 31, type of player Chiefs need to sign. Let's talk in sports. You might want to read up and find out what player might be going to Chiefs. Uh, that's Kaiser Chiefs. And uh, what will be the outcome? Page 29 as well has this one. Shandu Roars in calf. Uh, and males in PSL. Still all about the South African uh, Premier League, talking about uh, the PSL. Uh, you can read up and get more situation about it. Yeah, more uh, updates, especially from the world of sports. So that does it for me from the Soweto. All right, uh, moving away from uh, South Africa. Now, let's see what we can find in Namibia this morning. Pretty interesting stories there uh, from Joe on the Soweto. Um, it says they're close Chinese retailers. Activists say only wholesalers should be allowed. And also spotlight on public education. You can find that at the top right corner or top left corner on the screen. Botswana to ban more veggie imports. And we can also find Mansfield presents still life stories. Also on the Namibian, lawyers suggest bail for activists. And Competition uh, Commission investigates Bank Winock and uh, Law Firm. Uh, we can also find here on the, the Namibian, Namra chief told to resign. Tax audits urged on Chinese businesses. Foreign businesses that don't pay taxes should be deregistered. That's also on the Namibian. And these are the major stories that we can quickly share with you at this time.